sweet as switches, pitches this side of the ditches. Pull up your bridges, I'll be hitting switches on that ass. If I got class, but this is where I'll be giving it up. Cause the fucking me wants to get freaky. Nobody ever gonna love you. What's up, everybody? UFC President Dana White here. are a whole different ball game. That's a natural selling point if ever there was one. People almost looked at like the whole thing as, oh, is it contrived or, you know, you can't help being identical twins. It just worked, I think, and the name was very apt. You can see why if you're a manager, you're gonna say, wow, there's great. Two good looking brothers, the girls all love them, we can dress them up. They had an alien quality about them. They looked rather perfect, and they very much worked hard to portray that the relationship between them was also one of perfection. We didn't audition for Bros. I mean, we first started playing in bands together when we were 12 years old. We had our first band. We were called Caviar. We didn't have a fucking clue what Caviar was. We just knew it was expensive. And when we found out it was fish eggs, we were like, okay, drop the name. <laughs> Famous! Their songs were interesting, they had a fantastic image, and they had very good, strong management who had a vision of where they should go. told what to wear, they were helped in how to find the right clothing. They looked manufactured. Then if you're the brother and you're the twin, it's purely just DNA, it's just coincidence. There's nothing set up about it. Tell that to a no-nonsense John Stapleton. But in fairness, you, you are quite carefully marketed, aren't you? I mean, to be honest about it, I mean, it's skillful and, and I'm sure many people admire it, but I mean, it, it's, it's also, well, some would a little bit callous. You tell him, Johnny. They stood there and told you, we are big stars. There is absolutely no other way that you can conceive of this band. You know, we're massively famous. And immediately, they fell into the lifestyle. I think it was only after their first single, a few days later, they turned up in these beautiful 911s, Porsches, brand new. And straight away, I think, Where's, where's the money coming from? You know, I've been doing it for three years at the time and I've, I never had any money. Well, it helps when your first five singles all go top five within one year. Everybody knew we were. That was like the epitome of rock and roll. We landed by helicopter, 10,000 people waiting for us. That was like what we did. It was always larger than life. It was always mad. I did a radio program with them, and I really liked them. They were great, you know? I mean, they, we couldn't have come from, from more opposite sides of the musical spectrum. They couldn't believe that, that all this had arrived, and they were saying that they couldn't sleep at night because there were so many girls outside their flat 24 hours a day. The enthusiasm of the crowds outside has been enormous today. How are you going to get through life being screamed at like this? Oh, it's I mean, terrible. It's, it's really hard. <laughs> there were so many girls, the boys didn't know what to do with them until they hit upon a plan. They had a dream to fill Wembley Stadium. And that, I think, was the ultimate symbol of their tenacity as brothers. They dug their heels in, it was what they wanted to do. 
I remember me and Luke were sitting at the back of Wembley Stadium, looking at the stage and thinking how small it looks, and that was a monstrous stage, you know. Luke was the drummer, so not only was he officially the backbone of the band, but there's this real ease on stage when you've got your brother literally watching your back. When I'm at the front of the stage, you literally see the whites of their eyes. Sometimes you feel, you know, their sweaty hands, and it's just so much more tactile. And I think that being a drummer, his experience of the whole thing for him, after a while, was just like, no, no, I need, to, I need more than this, you know. In terms of marketing, the twin thing worked very well. In reality, in terms of achieving some sort of balance within the band, I think it was a cause of struggle. The twins then did what so many boy bands have done before. They rebelled against their management and decided to do their own thing. Their own serious thing. Oh dear. Three o'clock in the morning. Possibly they did write some very good, valid music for that third album. But that's not really what Bross was ever about. Darkness of no man's land is close at hand. When they really wanted to stretch their wings as musicians and creators, they couldn't break through that barrier of the hype. The new mature style flopped, and for the first time in their lives, the brothers started to go their separate ways. You're born on the same day. You grow up together. You go to school together. You usually have the same friends, and then you have the same career. I think that there is an overload factor that, that contributed to the end of our band. In some ways, I wish we'd hung in there, but they called me up and said, that, that's it, I'm done. If somebody wants to leave the band, that's it. It's done. You, you, what are you going to do? You can't force them. I knew in my heart that I would probably never be on stage with my brother again. It's a very painful moment. Why, oh why, are we not famous anymore? Oh. Luke remains disillusioned about his music career and refuses to revisit the Bross era to this day. He's now trying to establish a movie career in Hollywood. Back at the station without you. Or asking me how you are. Matt went from the frying pan into the frying pan in Hell's Kitchen. Yes, yes, yes. And is now carving out a solo career. My heart skips a beat, oh, just the thought of you ever leaving. I have to constantly remind myself that it's, it's, it's OK and we don't have to be connected at the hip. I guess I'm the twin that wants to hang out of him. <laughs> He's more independent. To jump on stage for a couple of hours with Luke again, I think would be a really amazing, amazing experience. Ourselves. We know it's wrong, but now.